what is up YouTube so today we're gonna be stepping back into the paint booth and try to give you guys some more tips and tricks on airbrushing here uh, I've got a Cricut and I've been messing around with stencils and I cut out this slime um, I was inspired by this guy named TJ Hatfield on the Brotherhood of Custom Painting I believe that's the name of the Facebook whatever anyways that doesn't matter I'm giving credit where it's due TJ boom anyways he uses a stencil I believe he buys it on anarchy but I have a Cricut I made my own I can do that kind of crap anyways we're gonna show you today how to turn a blank like this into a blank like this at least that's my plan um, I'm gonna go ahead and get you some shots of the blank versus the completed and we will um, get painting All right guys, so here's the bait we're gonna do. It's just a lipless crankbait I got from my sugar tit order. It actually was a freebie, so I figure why not test out this cool pattern on it. Here's the difference with the new light. Right, I'm gonna load up white in the chamber, um, and then we'll get going. Another important thing now that it's got its base coat is you need to give it a good heat set. We do that with this uh, hair dryer here. All right, got a heat set. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the next color of paint and we'll get back to it. All right, the next color is a special mixture I made up. I have this Deco Art Glow It. Um, I'm gonna make this kind of glow in the dark. Hopefully it'll come out and then I add uh, Createx fluorescent green, I believe. Yep, fluorescent green and this is pearl lime green and wicked. I mix them up and you get kind of this slimy Well, it's hard to see there, but it's slimy. It's green uh, Against this white it's gonna look really good and pop and we'll um, Let me load it up in the gun and we'll spray some So now we have our bait all painted up with the slime color for our stencil here. But in trial run, this stencil, it was kind of a pain in the butt to use. So I went back to the drawing board and got these cut out of painter's tape on my Cricut. So that way I can lay them on the bait, paint a regular pattern on it, then come back and peel this and we'll have this nice beautiful slime pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and get these laid on I'm gonna do it off camera just because it's gonna be a little bit easier and then I will go ahead and show you what I come up with okay here's what we got I have it taped up so everything taped that's in the blue will stay this green we're gonna go ahead and redo the white base coat on this sucker all right next color we got here is uh wicked gold i believe yeah wicked gold so I decided I'm gonna make this look like a perch. Basically, we're gonna go a gold with green, well, so it'll go green to gold to white, little bit of white, 
excuse me, we'll add some orange fins, some black lines, call it a perch. So here we go. The next color we're gonna do, it's uh, we're gonna bring back the gold again, but we're going to add a couple drops of this emerald green. It's a H2O candy. These uh, colors are a little bit different. That you have to add this balancing clear to them to make them work right there. Oh crap! I just got some on my finger. Look at how dark this crap is. Um, it's ink. It like my hand is stained now. Anyways. Um, Basically, I've just been using drops of this to add to paints like uh, pearl whites, pearl metallics, anything, and it actually helps. So I'm going to use a couple drops of this in the gold, go over the top, and then we'll add some bars on it. darker green along the top here um, but it, while I'm looking at this I realize this is not going to be a perch we're gonna make this a bass I've done a lot of bass patterns I actually have a stencil right here for it um, so it should be pretty quick and easy once I get this going I'm gonna go ahead and come back one more darker green stencil um, then we should We'll come back in detail around these and then we'll be able for the big reveal. Starting to look like a bass there. Take it. All right, we got it all he set. I got this stencil here. I'm gonna lay it down. Try to figure out that eyes are right there. Come on. Well, we'll see how that goes. I'm not not 100% happy with it, but what can we do? Okay, so the details I did came out a little bit darker than I had hoped. So I'm gonna hit them with this color shift. Uh, it's this dark tin green. It will really lighten up that black, but it, this color has to be shot on onto black. So it should really only affect the black there. So we'll hit it. You can really see it lighten up there. Now it's a metallic green instead of a really hard black. See, same thing, kind of lightened. It actually lightened it up quite a bit. I'm much happier with those results. Okay, so here's where all of the magic happens. You take 
I actually take the needle or the nozzle off of my um, airbrush and it allows me to paint much thinner lines here. And this is where we get our detail from. Basically, I'm gonna try to trace around all of the tape here with this black to create a shadow and that's what will give us the nice contrast on the slime there. Um, it's going to be really hard to do with the camera here, so bear with me. So we have all of that outlined. I have the, the eyes kind of blackened. I'm going to hit this with the heat set and we'll do the big reveal. There's that green we were hoping to see. <laughs> A little bit of paint peel there I'm not not excited about that's probably a very bad sign of things to come but we're already this far so let's press on it's a very delicate process here with this the way the paint is about that not bad for first try I don't think I need to clean up some of those lines but I can easily do that with the colors I got well I got one little mess up but I don't think it looks too bad what do you guys think and hopefully if I did it right this green will glow so um, Give me a minute, we're gonna get this thing all charged up and we're gonna see if it glows. All right, there you go. I went back and added some uh, brush strokes and stuff. So the slime's got a little bit of, multi like there's more than one green in there. It's not, you know, not very uniform. Some of the drops are better than the other, the others. Um, so this still is gonna need to get eyes clear coated um yeah it'll still be a little bit before this is done but i'm pretty pretty impressed what do you guys think pretty cool so that's the paint job you've seen it it's clear coated it's ready to put hooks on um not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I might as well try to fish it, but uh, maybe I'll give it to a buddy or sell it or something. Who knows? If you like this video, please let me know. Please give me some ideas on what kind of paint jobs you'd like to see. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, get out fishing, tight lines, Dave's Dangler. Hello.